news update! An amateur cameraman picnicking in Western Springs Park this afternoon captured this remarkable footage of a monkey making a daring escape from Auckland Zoo. The ape had been donated to the zoo by the SPCA four weeks ago after they rescued it from a dodgy local television production company. These cruel, talentless amateur TV producers had repeatedly goaded, beaten, mocked and teased the monkey. They forced him to perform humiliating, low-paying acting roles in their crap show and played mean, practical jokes on it. Finally, they set the poor beast on fire while trying to jump him on a BMX. Animal psychologists believe this monkey may well have just one thing on its mind. Revenge! Television. I'm your host, Danny Parker, and we've got a great show for you tonight. You may notice the flash security. There's a good reason for that. Remember that monkey we mistreated in episode one? Well, apparently he's loose and he's out for revenge. But that isn't going to slow us down, because this is guerrilla filmmaking at its best, and we do not drag our knuckles. That's right, the show is still as flash as a baboon's ass. But first, the band that doesn't monkey around when it comes to good tunes, they're my favourite band, they're your favourite band, they make you go apeshit every single time. Who do? Deja Voodoo do. Well, later on the show, we've got the action-packed sequel to last week's action-packed prequel, Smooth Over. But first, Spanners Watson, I like that guy even if he is a South Islander. Against the odds, he's bought Randy Campbell, New Zealand's greatest daredevil stuntman, a rocket car. Let's cross live to Jesus Christopherson at the scene. Jesus, can you hear me? Thanks, Danny. Things are really hotting up out here as we build up to this fantastic stunt. As we all saw last week, retarded South Island mechanic Spanners Watson made a bold claim. But as our secret video footage shows, his car looks shit. Can the slow-witted man understand the complexities of rocket science, or is he too easily distracted? Dick, he doesn't stand a shit show of making it, does he? Not with that attitude, he won't. We've got to try and stay positive, mate. I'm a stunt coordinator. If it's not safe, I'm not interested. Can Spanners do it? Find out tonight! Back to you, Danny. Thank you, Jesus. Well, hold on to your helmets, ladies and gentlemen, for the self-abuse world champs. It's the biggest date on the spanking calendar. I have never been more proud in my life to introduce something to you. Wank Race 2001. Ladies and gentlemen, Wank Race 2001. Tonight, the two biggest wankers in New Zealand go head to head. Last year, we proudly brought you Wank Race 2000, the inaugural quest to discover what's better, downloading porn off the internet or just going down to the dairy. And what a race it was! But due to slow download times and technical difficulties, it was a whitewash victory for the traditionalists. Will tonight's Titanic Tunk Tournament be any less tumultuous? Travelling the well-trodden trek to the garage tonight, last year's handsome young champion Chris Stapp. Going up against him, the man on the mouse, the dynamo of downloads, amateur masturbation enthusiast Philip Gruff. And with his flash new high-speed internet connection, the challenger has never had a better chance of embarrassing the champ. 
Who will win? Find out tonight! Wear Grace 2001, later, only on Back of the Way. News update! This just in, the escaped gorilla has been spotted at a city bus stop. Experts analysing this tape suspect he may have been trying to catch the 217 bus to Auckland's beautiful Oni Hunga. The monkey became very angry when he couldn't work out the bus timetable. The New Zealand police, when asked what steps they were taking to ensure Back of the Wise safety, issued this statement. After the way we've been portrayed on Back of the Wise show, if we find out where their studio is, that monkey will be the least of their worries. And now, New Zealand's greatest fizzy drink in association with New Zealand's shittest TV show proudly bring you Wink Race 2001! Well, the crowd is huge down here at the Wank Dome, and rightly so, for two giants of the jack-off scene are going head-to-head. And I'll tell you what, the atmosphere is absolutely electric. Just look at that crowd! On your marks! Good set! Go, oh, you sad pieces of shit! And they're off! Phil racing to his computer and Stan speeding away to the shop. And look at Phil's furious mouse work. Better left to be quick to keep up with the champ. Look at him go! But Phil's already online. It didn't take long. And now look at that bevy of smutty thumbnails he's found. He's well on his way. Oh, and an early upset for the champ. Obviously his mind is on the pawn. What a pro! Phil's clucking away furiously, and so he should be. Stapp has already reached the local garage. And he's straight into the magazine rack. Oh, but what's this? It's a cute girl he knows. How's he going to handle this? He's looking awkward and embarrassed. And... Oh no! He's pretending he's just there to buy the paper. What an upset. Brut's already unzipped as his first mucky pick down loads will stab cowers outside the garage waiting for his lady friend to leave. And she's going. He's waiting for the right moment. And he's back in the race. But he'll have to hurry to beat Phil's jet stream connection. Here he comes. Oh no! Luckily he's got his grumble mag tucked safely down the back of his pants. Let's see that again in slow motion. Oh, a banana skin. An only hunger, an ominous sign for back of the Y. Stafford better get a move on, because Phil's already on the vinegar strokes. Come on, champ! The neck and neck now. Let's see what Stap pulls out. Oh no, it's soft porn. The worst kind of porn of all. People who hate porn don't like it. People who love porn don't like it. What's the point? And meanwhile, Phil is tugging away furiously. What an effort. His train has got the tissues out. This is surely a good sign for the internet nerds. And Stapp is still struggling to get it up. Come on, champ. But Phil's almost there. He's clicking frantically. And this muff dive shot should be all it takes to put him over the edge. Is he? Will he? Is he? Could he? Ladies and gentlemen, this race is over! Philip William Bruff is the new Wake Race Champion and Step is furious that the crowd are lapping it up. Well, an emphatic victory for the World Wide Web, but shame, despair and humiliation for the traditionists. Still, it looks like masturbation is the winner on the day. Thank you and good night. Back of the Y, one week ago. Shut up! Oh, I'm building a rocket car! Mate, you couldn't even build your own brick. I could so! Could he? Our secret video footage shows that Spanner's rocket car is currently looking more like some old granny's wheelchair. Will he get it together in time for tonight's amazing stunt? Or will it be another embarrassment? It's the eve! And now! It's the extreme world of extreme cameraman, Wally Simmons! Apart from Virtual Wally's extreme world on PlayStation, video games have always been pretty lame. Until now, this is gonna be extreme! been around for ages. What's so extreme about this? Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. It's a piece of shit. There's no way it's gonna fly. Extreme! 
Back, I'm Danny Parker. This is Back of the Y Masterpiece Television. Well, security's so tight at Back of the Y tonight that we've had to do another shit in house interview. I hate him, you hate him. He's New Zealand's greatest daredevil stuntman, Randy Campbell. <laughs> oh. Jesus, Parker, a banana skin. That is the lowest. Is that Frank, you have stooped to yet, you sad piece of shit. God. Fuck you and fuck your dog. This banana skin, does anyone know where this banana skin's come from? Is this some kind of prank? Security, I found a banana skin. This can only mean one thing. <laughs> Constables, the only hung around defender squad are down at the local golf course for a bit of target practice. Oh, look out, mate. He's got a golf club. He's swinging it, mate. <laughs> He's coming at us. He's swinging it. He's got me backed against the wall. Have okay, a go. Have a shot. I can shoot him. I've got him in my sights. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us. Uh, Certainly got him. Uh, you had to do it. Tonight, all eyes are focused on Spanners Watson. Sure, he's a bit unco, but he's got some powerful friends. Spanners Watson, great guy, great mechanic. But is he a great mechanic? All he's managed to do so far is add some fins to his rocket car. Will it help? Find out tonight on Back of the Y Masterpiece Television. The abandoned cardboard box factory, downtown Oni Hunger. I'd heard that Mr. Big was taking delivery of a huge consignment of Asian spangle mags. And where there's porn, you know that I won't be far away. I figured if I got there early, kept well out of sight, and packed some sophisticated high-tech surveillance equipment, I might be able to get in a quick one off the wrist with no one the wiser. Unfortunately, I'd forgotten to take one thing into account. My greasy, sweaty palms. I was sprung, and as every schoolboy knows, nothing is more embarrassing than being caught wanking. There was only one thing to do. Kill everyone! I had to be fast and thorough. Any one of these bad guys could potentially tell my mates, or even worse, my mum. But these guys were tough. I could have sworn I was shooting the same guy over and over. It was time to get serious. There's nothing like a good dose of wanking guilt to get the adrenaline flowing. It was time to pinch Mr. Big's car, no doubt full of porn, and make my escape. But those baddies were hot on my tail, and they weren't going to give up. But they weren't going to catch me that easy, because I'm New Zealand's greatest porn detective, and it'll take more than these apes could muster to keep me from an afternoon's monkey spanking. Ah-ha! 
So long, suckers! Hey! Fuck this, mate! Let's just go to the pub! Sweet! Screen. Why don't you get the fastest car you can find and fuck off? Love Billy. But yes, take that cock Spanners with you. When Spanners read that letter, he was very hurt. He swore to build Randy a rocket car so powerful he could jump back in the white studios in it. But as recently as this afternoon, Spanners' car still looks crap. Will this be a fifth humiliation for Randy Campbell and Ken St. Johansson and ensure his safety? All the big names are here. Like rookie stuntman Skip Butler, rocket scientologist Professor Crash Endicott, pro stunt groupie Sidney Coburn, extreme cameraman Wally Simmons, and the man of the moment, Spanners Watson. The crowd loves Spanners, but can he do it? Can he build a rocket car? We're about to find out. Oh my god! This is unbelievable! He's done it! Spanners Watson has done himself proud! He's done the whole stunt crew proud! He's done the South Island proud! What an amazing day for Spanners Watson and an incredible moment for all of New Zealand! And just look at the look on Spanners' face! Behold! The spirit of Russell Crowe! Our Russ! From Invercargill to Kaitaia, they'll be praising this brave young man's name from now till Christmas. Everyone's gobsmacked! It's 9.42 at night. That's extremely late in anyone's book. I'm out here at the back of the Y Studios ready to film Randy's crudest stunt yet. This is gonna be extreme! Couldn't have put it better myself, Wally. Spanners take a bow! But enough of that, Randy knows that the proof is in the pudding and we're here to do stunts. And he's ready to attempt to jump this incredible beast of a vehicle, the spirit of Russell Crowe, over back of the Y Studios. He's ready to start the engine. There's 30,000 odd foot of run under that hood and the anticipation for tonight's stunt is growing to fever pitch. Listen to that engine roar to life. The crowd is going wild here tonight on this beautiful Only Hunger evening. And now Randy Campbell is ready to give it all he's got. The boosters are ignited. And he's away! Already reaching speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour. But suddenly, the stunt goes horribly wrong. An ejector seat fitted by Dick Johansson is misfired and our Russ careens into a tree. There is confusion. Where's Randy? He's still going, still approaching the ramp at ever decreasing speed. And oh my god. That is surely Randy Campbell's most pathetic attempt at a stunt yet. He's hit the ramp at barely walking pace and hardly makes a dent on the back of the white studio front door. Fuck you guys. Can't you do anything right? Utter, utter humiliation for Randy Campbell and his incompetent stunt crew. And tempers here have reached boiling point now. What a dark day for the New Zealand stunt industry. And I'd be surprised if Randy Campbell's career isn't over. Shut up, I'll stay. Okay, uh, we all saw what happened tonight. That stunt was not brain surgery, it was rocket science. Some people say that Randy wouldn't have been as badly hurt 
if uh, my uh, ejection seat hadn't fucked up so badly, would I like to answer that? The seat was a safety measure. It was never meant to be used. And if Randy had successfully completed the stunt like he was supposed to, he wouldn't be in hospital right now. Come on, Tough luck to our lucky home viewer, Billy. Because Randy's career is probably over, you don't get a Randy Campbell jacket or any box and bug it if we're giving you any of our vodka. Have you got a dare for Randy? Keep it to yourself. Oh, well, welcome back. I'm Danny Parker. This is Back of the Wire Masterpiece Television. Well, it's been a pretty shit episode of Back of the Wire, but... At least this monkey business is over and we can continue on without fear of uh, intimidation. Um, well, I'd like to say goodnight and hopefully we'll see you all next week. Get the fuck out of here, Please remain calm. This is Constable Murray Black of the New Zealand PD. We have sent a unit into back of the wide studios and are currently immobilising their broadcasting capabilities. This will only take a moment. Our unit has clear instructions to take out the show's producers, to destroy their boardroom and all capability that they may have for producing their show. render their building inadequate and finally to destroy their editing and broadcasting capability. Any attempts to stop our officers will be met with maximum force. Thank you for your cooperation. Normal broadcasting will resume as soon as we're finished kicking these side in. Thank you.